Here we are zooming into the Sculptor Dwarf Galaxy, an elliptical spheroidal galaxy orbiting the Milky Way. In 2017, Gaia and Hubble provided data sets separated by 12 years that were used to measure the exact three-dimensional motion of a small number of Sculptor's stars. The main goal was to examine the distribution of dark matter in a galaxy without a central bar like our own. The current theory has it that dark matter is cold and only interacts with itself and visible matter via gravitational forces. Statistical simulations indicate that matter with these properties would clump up into galaxies with the dark matter density being highest in the center. This peak density at the center is referred to as a dark matter cusp, but spheroidal galaxies like this one don't have core dense center bars. So the central question became, does this galaxy have a dark matter cusp, even though it has no visible core? If the answer is no, as expected by many, then we go back to the drawing board for figuring out dark matter. 126 stars were found in common in the two Hubble pointings and the Gaia dataset. Using star distance, the researchers identified 91 of these that were actually inside Sculptor. Using only those stars with the most accurate motion readings brought the number down to 15 stars. Over the 12 years, they would have traveled on average only 6 ten thousandths of a light year in Sculptor's own reference frame. The results show that the stars in Sculptor move preferentially on elongated radial orbits. This indicates that the density of dark matter increases towards the center instead of flattening out. These findings are in agreement with the established dark matter model. But the data set is very small and more research is needed before a definite answer to our question can be reached.